Why is this a big deal? Why are people so pumped about Tesla's new insurance product? Well, it's anything Tesla is is going to be exciting for Tesla owners, right? You know, I just think that they're doing some interesting and innovative things. Um, this is this is just one of them. Um, I did have a conversation with a friend of mine here in Denver. He's a Model 3, performance Model 3 owner, but he also is an insurance broker. Um, so he, he provided his insight on this, which I thought was really, really interesting. Um, and so I'll provide a couple of those insights and then also just my overall thought. Um, I, I think, you know, I think that this, this is a red herring for autonomy, full autonomy. When Tesla is making cars that they're selling that are driving themselves, they will inevitably have to insure them because they'll, they'll technically be the ones that are driving. Tesla will be driving these vehicles. It won't be the actual owner. So this is just a stepping stone to offer existing Tesla owners the ability to insure and hopefully um, get better prices. Uh, the reason why I think that they'll be able to sort of chip away at a more efficient price is because they'll have far better insight into the vehicle than a traditional insurance company. Right now, traditional insurance companies um, will give you a discount to install a telematics uh, little little tracking system. My, my little sister has that, and it's hilarious. She never lets me borrow her car. She's like, they're <laughs> tracking you, Gally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, it's. It, I mean, it's it's a really interesting play, but it's not integrated in with the car, so you only have so much insight into, you know, the vehicle. Uh, but Tesla ha has a a far greater upper hand here because. The whole car is software, and so all they have to do is push out a software update that then you know allows you to buy the insurance plan, and then it's tracking everything. It's tracking where you go. It's tracking the acceleration, the deceleration. It's tracking you know how how you swerve in and out of lanes. Um, it knows everything. It can also utilize. It will likely also utilize the autopilot cameras as well. So what other car company and what other insurance company has the ability to do that? Very, very few. Some some automakers like the e-tron that I just got done testing did have a forward-facing camera and they did have some cameras that provided this, this 360 degree uh, backup camera. But um, I think it's on a whole nother level with Tesla uh, for, for many reasons. But th th that's my first take. Yeah. And you brought up a key point, which to me is sort of like, you know, first laws of insurance would be the more data you have, the better you're going to be at modeling the risk and therefore the more accurately priced insurance you'll be able to give. So the granularity of Tesla's data, you know, uh, you know, how fast you react to turn the steering wheel, how many degrees, how fast you step on the brakes, whether you're using autopilot, you know, they have the interior facing camera, whether your eyes are even on the road, like, I don't know, maybe it gets weird about how much they could track you, but you know, like you said, they want to put that track. This is where already people are going. Insurance companies are desperate to get more data. That's why they're paying you money to install this tracker in your car. Tesla's like is going to get hundreds, hundred X more data than that tracker will. Therefore the accuracy of their insurance product or just the potential of it seems to be far greater from that alone.